Guys, I'm here with uh, Andrea and Chiara of Juicebox Perfumes in uh, Milan, Italy. Uh, I was here probably three months ago during Exxon's and they had a great party here and it was the first time I came to their store and I was really, really impressed with their store and I've been a fan of their fragrances. So today, I've got you here, we're going to talk about their fragrances. So if you're curious to learn about Juicebox fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. This is Andrea. Hello. This is Chiara. Hello. How are you guys doing? Very well, well thank, you. thank you. Thank you for coming, Sebastian. Thank you. It's a pleasure to welcome Very in our little thank world you. of Juice Box. Yeah. You guys have some exciting things happening. You have a new fragrance launching, right? Yes. Uh, you have uh, the pleasure yeah. oh, to <laughs> see our yeah. new, new fragrance here. I smelled it and it's another fragrance created by Dominic Ropian. And can we mention what it is? Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, it's an iris-focused fragrance called a Visionary Eye. Visionary Eye. It's inspired by the incredible creativity of uh, David Bowie. Great. So, how did you decide to do this uh, David Bowie-themed fragrance? Uh, Kelly, do you want to explain that? Your uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, we wanted to uh, give interpretation to, uh, let's say, the, um, the, the time that uh, David Bowie spent in Berlin that was very, very important for his career and his music career, indeed. And so, we, uh, in this fragrance, we really talk about the link between uh, the attitude of David Bowie and the attitude of Berlin but it's absolutely a visionary city full of creativity mm. and uh, it really mirrored the personality of David Bowie. Yeah, the idea was uh, to um, transform the tradition of perfumery mm -hmm. in something completely new, uh, avant-garde I would say. Like uh, David Bowie went to Berlin to transform his way of making music. Okay. Yes. Um, so to describe him, uh, we asked Dominique Ropion to do this uh, incredible exercise uh, to use one uh, classic ingredient like iris and transform it something completely new. Uh, and very modern and we can say like a version 2.0 of mm. iris. Oh wow! Sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys love working with Dominic Ropian. What is it about him that you like? Uh, a lot of things about uh, <laughs> But of course, his creativity, uh, his vision, uh, his, uh, and the knowledge he has about the raw materials. And, and uh, to use something that is in the heritage of perfumery, but all the time he has the chance to, to create something that's completely new and, and I can say, uh, very um, innovative. innovative and yeah. And a new, a new way of interpreting very classic ingredients. Let's okay, say. okay. And did you know that he's my favorite perfumer? Did I tell you that already? Like us? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great perfumer. I think I first discovered him with Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, I gotta look up what else this guy's done because he's done some amazing things. So, how many times have you guys worked with her? Uh, with a, a oh, he created a lot of juice box fragrances because, of course, as you, we love uh, the, his work and working with him. So but of course, the, the first time we knew him uh, was when we were uh, working on a project with Costume National. Okay, uh, the, that's what I was going to get into, but this other brand. Yes, and uh, the first fragrance we created together was Om of Costume National. And so, uh, this is the first time we had the chance to, to, to talk to him, to meet him, and to, to create something together. Wow. And to fall in love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, for sure, yeah, he's a great perfumer. So, um, you like working with Dominic Ropion and uh, you also work with other perfumers, but you focus on working with IFF, correct? Uh, yes, uh, for many reasons, uh, because of course we like working with this kind of perfumer like Julien, for example, Fanny Ball, we also work, uh, but also because we like the vision of, of, uh, of IFF and we like specifically uh, the raw materials they create in the LMR in, in grass because uh, I really I don't want to be too boring about talking about that because it's kind of technical also 
but the quality of the raw materials they have in, uh, in this laboratory is unbelievable and uh, for this reason uh, we like working with them because I think they give the twist to the to the fragrances that are different from other producers. Okay, yeah. They do have high quality ingredients for sure. That's what we are looking what? for, yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, when does the new Iris fragrance launch? Uh, it's a visionary eye. Yeah, visionary eye uh, worldwide launch will be on the 1st of October. Okay, cool. Um, so. We want to kind of also go over some of your uh, fragrances. We're going to move into the other room. With pleasure. So yeah. before we talk about your older fragrances, can we smell the new one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Here we are. Yes. So it's iris, but what other notes are featured in this fragrance? Um, there's uh, an opening of bergamot. Okay. And uh, there's uh, some wormwood as well. And um, there's lavender okay. in the heart, cinnamon, uh, it's quite musky uh, at the bottom. Uh, we have this fresh notes of pimento on top. Pimento? Yes. Wow. And uh, there's also some sandalwood. Okay. But of course what is uh, the, the, the main character <laughs> of the fragrance is this uh, incredible iris. It's called the uh, 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 Iris uh, Ultimate um, Molecular Distillation about LMR and it's a very special kind of iris because it's very very full of uh, olfactive molecules about iris. Mm. So it's super super concentrated. I see. This is definitely, uh, iris usually ends up being dry for me. There's definitely a wetness here. Mm -hmm. Something about it is a little wet but you can totally experience it. Yeah. yeah. And you said there's warm wood here. Yes. So it does have a. I, mean, I, I associate warm wood with like licorice or anise. Yeah. So there's a little bit of that here. Absolutely. Yeah. A little green. Um, there's definitely some spice, but I'm getting lots of woods as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's dry, but also wet at the same time. It's because yeah. usually when I think of powder, iris is very powdery. Absolutely. You have that idea of powder floating. This one seems like it's trying to float, but there's this. You know, you know, deeper kind of wet experience that's yeah. kind of keeping it balanced or something. Yes, I think this is the the, the real uh, genius of Dominique Robion that can really exactly. make this twist and like the modernity of, of this uh, aspect of the artist. Mm. So really, you know, uh, give this kind of modernity and uh, a twist. Yeah. Yeah. New yeah. twist. Yeah. I think this is the first. Uh, Iris fragrance that I've actually smelled from Dominic Ropian. I can't remember if he's done anything else. I don't you know. Think so, I think so. <laughs> yeah. so, is it your first Iris then in yeah, your collection? Is, yes, it's yes. And it was, uh, we have been working on this for more than five years because, oh, of wow. course, yeah. Yeah, to wow. create something uh, around Iris and inspired by David Bowie, you know, was, uh, it's so difficult, you know, because we really respect his. Uh, the, the, as yeah. an artist, yeah. as it was so, you know, recreate something that could uh, yeah, interpret this, yeah, you know, yeah, complexity I mean, was so, so difficult. But I think. Like, it, yeah. I mean, such a lot of facets that it was not easy to throw them some. And of course, also to make this exercise for Dominique Ropion, I think was not, it was not easy as well. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what other, what are your popular. Well, actually, what, what I should ask is, what were your previous releases from. Uh, before this new the one. previous is uh, it spring dance yeah, the, yeah. We, good morning and the couple yeah, a couple yeah. of yeah. Uh, one spring dance a good morning that was inspired by classical music oh exactly. uh, so uh, and it's uh, are very uh, sophisticated deep fresh fragrances mm -hmm. I would say that mm -hmm. uh, uh, good morning Did you that like to describe sure that's fine we start with the good morning our spring dance okay. Mm -hmm. So the idea is uh, to uh, describe the Vivaldi the spring. Oh. That of course uh, this is um, the nature is coming alive again after the winter. Mm. So this the explosion of flowers, uh, the explosion oh. of spring. Yeah. Is exactly. this good morning or no spring? Spring. spring yeah. Spring. Spring, 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 spring in a bottle. Yeah. 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 Absolutely spring in a bottle. Yeah. So, Again, Dominic Robion. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do like working with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, okay, so this is very fresh, yes. uh, very floral and green. There's pentagram in here, right? Yeah, kind, yeah. Of, yeah. kind of, yeah. Neroli? Uh, yes, uh, there's um, 
juices. Mandarin as well? Mandarin. Absolutely. Um, it's very flowery after. You know, there is have jasmine. A, an absolute of jasmine. Jasmine. Anyway. Yes. Okay. Very, very powerful, very round, very blooming. But even this kind of, you can smell very deep the, the, the jasmine. It doesn't seem like a feminine fragrance. It's very unisex. It's floral, but seems, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's a bit you know, green. Yeah. So, a fresh. A yeah. This green uh, facet, yeah. Wow, it's pretty. Uh, so, how do you connect this kind of a fragrance to classical music? Uh, because the inspiration is Vivaldi and uh, the spring of Vivaldi, so we really wanted to, to create, uh, you know, uh, the, the song is cacophonic as well, you know, the, the, the sound of, of, of the produce, the, the spring that is, you know, uh, the sound booming, of nature, booming, 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 exactly. and so the flowers oh. were booming, birds were singing, exactly. and I mean, and flying all around. Okay, so makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. The inspiration, actually. So this is the idea of uh, creating this kind of uh, freshness, and but uh, flowers are blooming, or something very, mm -hmm. uh, very deep. And also the grass that is very, very green. The the new leaves that are very, very green. So the colors are really bright during springtime. This is a very wet fragrance. It seems yes. like it's like morning. Yeah. So there's like water, like dew on it or something. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> the Not next enough. one is. The next one is, is more, is, much is, more, is, let's exactly. say, watery. <laughs> okay. So good morning is more into that. Okay. So we wanted to recreate that feeling. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. even if it's like the the season is changing, it's like the sun is rising. Mm. So you are like uh, walking uh, with the nature, but uh, when the sun is rising. So here we have more a watery effect. Oh, uh, so yeah, because, because uh, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter what the season is, but during when you are uh, in early morning, you always have this kind of wetness all around. You know, wow, in the very very early morning when the sun rises. This is very fresh, very, yeah, very wet too. Yeah, like so this kind of um, oceanic uh, accord. It's not watery because sorry, it's not uh, salty. Uh -huh. But it makes this kind of freshener, what water idea. Yeah. Exactly. Is it ozonic? Violently? Uh, we say ozonic, yes. but not in the sense of salty. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, also, uh, we use a kind of different kind of flowers. So we use magnolia here. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. So because also it gives a different twist to, to the fragrance. Interesting. It's uh, floral once again, but not very no, feminine. No, 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 yeah. no, no. no absolutely. So, so it's very unisex. Yeah. Unisex, yeah. So your fragrances are musically inspired. Um, how did you come up with the concept? Uh, <laughs> uh, we came up with this concept because we have the idea that uh, um, music and perfumes have a very lot of things in common, let's say. First of all, we speak with the same language. We speak about notes, we speak about accords, we speak about a harmony of notes in it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that both of uh, these two words uh, has the power uh, to evoke emotion and memories and make us uh, um, feel. Mm -hmm. So this totally. is why I think this is the most important thing. So uh, because uh, you know you remember a specific place, a specific city, a specific person mm -hmm. because of the. Uh, the smell, or the smell, or, music or, or, or song, the music, or a specific a situation. And all the time you go back with that memories, you know your heart is full. Of yeah, and you know I I, I work in the music business, yes. <laughs> and I love perfumes, so I get it. I totally yes. get it. Yeah, yes. and also it was like a kind of way for us uh, that we work in this business since a long time to try maybe to decode the perfume with a much more familiar language to the people. Mm. Yeah, because sometimes uh, working for since uh, more than 20 years, but uh, grew up on this business, yeah. we really understand sometimes it's, we speak a different language uh, or complicated language yeah. or, you know, we talk about notes or accords, something that is not used to, to people. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, that also talking about music that is so similar and familiar, yeah. uh, it was easy to also uh, to try to, to, to speak with the, with people about our to make our work. People feel the the inspiration that we got to create our perfumes. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you've worked with Dominic Rupian, Julian Raskane, 
Who else have you had create, create uh, fragrances for We have the, the chance to work with an Italian uh, because everything is made in Italy, mm -hmm. apart of uh, <laughs> the perfumer that are French in this case. <laughs> but uh -huh. for one fragrance, we, we work with Dominique Mulhausen, that uh, oh. she's Italian from Milan. Okay. And uh, she created Chick is Mine. Oh, it is, I know uh, yes, it's a uh, acid house. Yes, yes exactly. House. It's inspired by acid house music, so mm -hmm. it's a completely molecular fragrance. Absolutely. Because at the time uh, of acid house, uh, late eighties. I love that acid house movement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everything was uh, a little bit acid. So yeah. <laughs> so we created a completely synthetic fragrance. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very uh, molecular. Yeah, interesting, and it's a lot of popular molecule like Iso is Super or Ambroxan, uh, Kashmiran. Uh, so and it's super musky. Super musky. Super There's musky. also 10 different kind of amber uh, synthetic, uh, oh, wow. uh, can I say, molecules mm -hmm. uh, inspiration. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's intense. It's a very intense. It's very, very long lasting. It's 25% percentage concentration so okay. it's very tense very long lasting and uh, cool it's i like this one i've recommended this one many times <laughs> or ambroxan or isoe super yes. and, yeah. and one thing that is very nice about the fragrance is also the packaging because uh, i mean all that you i mean perceive like uh, white it really uh, fluorescent indeed so it really lights uh, during the night. Oh, yeah. exactly. You can yeah. spray your perfume during the night. So oh, wow. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, so let's talk about one more perfume. What is your most popular fragrance? Uh, one of the most popular is uh, Chick is My, but uh, basically we have three best sellers, depends on the country rather. Mm -hmm. One of the best is the black powder. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Julian Raskine. Leather Julian Nirvana. Raskine. Yeah. Leather Nirvana. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Super correct. <laughs> so, yeah. of course, the inspiration is uh, Corcobain Nirvana, and uh, the idea is to create uh, a fragrance that was uh, as uh, his music uh, against the system, so it's a very strong, very with a lot of character. Yeah. And it's based on leather, of course, black current. Oh, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's yeah. super contrast between super black current contrast. and leather, it's yes. amazing. Mm. And again, very long lasting, but uh, I like that because it's very uh, different also, and uh, I like that very much. Yeah. Cool, cool, thank you. Um, anything else you want to tell my audience about your fragrances? If you come to the store, you can get some engraving done, right? Yeah, sure. yes. You have this amazing machine that does this engraving on the sides of the yes. bottles. And also there is a great uh, perfume consultation because of course we have this machine that Chiara and myself created. This is called a jukebox, perfume jukebox. So oh, wow. uh, you can have a complete experience with music and fragrance that uh, only here in a few stores like Printemps you can uh, you can experience. Yeah. And uh, I think it's quite uh, nice and worthy to come and to try it. Yeah, if you're in Milan, uh, definitely stop in because they have this big record that turns the um, fragrances around and it plays music. I can't really do that here with the music because uh, of copyright, but uh, I think it's definitely worth coming in and experiencing it because you're almost like walking into a record shop <laughs> because there's all these records uh, that are representing each fragrance uh, and, uh, you know, of course you can smell. And then there's a couple of rooms here. It's just really, really a cool decoration in here. Like the, the decoration or decor in this room is amazing. I, I just, here and in the other room too. So it's definitely worth experiencing it. So besides the uh, new fragrance, what, what do we look forward to from uh, Juicebox perfumes in the future? Uh, Any surprises that are coming? Uh, there is a okay. There is a surprise for next year, but it's too early. Too early to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> but we can meet again. For the okay. Year, yeah, for sure. Sure. Okay. Do you think you'll launch by Exxon's next year? Uh, this is the plan. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, you know, now it's not so easy to create new things, especially uh -huh. uh, for problem of production and everywhere. And yeah. Raw materials. Yeah. But uh, say that we also, have a longer time of production. Yes. And also, you know, we are a little bit picky with the with the fragrance and the, the final mm. results. So of course, hopefully, we will be ready for. Okay. That. Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for thank you talking you. to thank me. You. Yeah. Thank I'm you. so happy that you were able to do this. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, definitely put it in the info box so that we can look at 
and see what you are asking. And as I said, if you have a chance, do come here in, in Milan. This is like the luxury neighborhood, right? Yeah, it's in the fashion yeah. district, yes. Yeah, so lots of great uh, shopping here. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. As I said, if you have any questions or comments, list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Ciao, Tomila. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Thank you.